Hey guys, Brad here from Scooter Street, but we really commonly get asked about gear up kits. So I thought I'd do a video today to give you a bit more of an understanding of how your diff gears work and how to work out the final drive ratio so that rather than just telling you which gear up kit is going to be appropriate for your scooter, you can actually work it out yourself so that you know which kit is going to be appropriate for what scooter and what sort of setup. So before we discuss gear up kits themselves, we need to understand how the factory diff works. So I have here a 50cc Piaggio factory diff. This one's out of an LX50 Vespa. So within the diff, there's two separate sets of gears, the primary and the secondary gears. These are each made up of two gears. So the primary gears start with the, uh, the input shaft just here, which is uh, what your rear, uh, your rear pulley and your clutch bolt onto inside the back of the transmission. And at the back here, we have the drive shaft, which is what your wheel bolts onto. So if we just pop these apart, I'm going to pull this little washer off first, a little thrust washer. So this here is the final drive. This is the output shaft the wheel bolts onto, as I mentioned. And this here is the final drive gear, which is one half of the secondary set. The other half of the secondary set is this smaller gear here. Now this is called the idler assembly, or the idler gear. It's made up of two gears. So the smaller gear on this is the second half to the secondary set. So you see these mesh together like so. And the larger gear on the idler is the second half of the primary gear. The first half of the primary gear is this gear here, which is part of the input shaft. So the input shaft, your rear pulley, the clutch engages, the clutch bell spins this gear. That gear there on the inside here spins the large gear uh, on the idler gear assembly. This small gear, is, uh, which is one half of the secondary gear, is pressed into this. They both spin at the same speed. And this gear here then spins the final drive. Now the idea of this assembly, why it's made up of two different sets, is to reduce the rotation from the rear pulley of the transmission to the wheel uh, in order to put less load on the engine so the engine can rev more freely compared to the speed of the wheel. Now, with Piaggio engines in particular, because Piaggio use basically the same engine for all their 50cc two-stroke models, uh, just in three different uh, casing variants, the difference in the rear gears is dependent on the size of the wheel. Now, this is true for many different scooters. It's just very uh, easily, the Piaggio engine is very easily used as an example because they're the same uh, gear assembly for the different models, but different models use different wheel sizes. So this is why you'll see that, uh, say for instance, Molossi list many sets of gears that will work in the Piaggio engine, but they only list a few for each individual model, depending on the wheel size. So for instance, a Zip or a Vespa with a 10 inch wheel is going to have a less aggressive reduction compared to a bike, say for instance, a Sport City One or an SRMT with a 14 inch wheel, or say for instance, uh, a Scarabeo 50, the Street, with a 16 inch wheel, it needs a more aggressive uh, reduction, as in uh, more rotations of the input shaft compared to a rotation of the drive shaft because the overall circumference of the wheel is bigger. So one rotation of a 16 inch wheel is covering significantly more ground than one rotation of a 10 inch wheel. Now, if you're considering a gear up kit on your scooter, there are some parameters to work by in terms of percentage versus the power or the setup on your scooter currently. So what we need to do first before we get into that is work out what the final drive ratio is on your scooter from factory or how it is currently. So the way that we do it, you'll see there's a small white mark on all of these gears in here. So the way we do it, put a small white mark on one of the gears or one tooth of each gear, I should say, and go around and count the teeth on each gear and write them down. So you will end up with a, uh, a number on the input shaft a number for the uh, primary side of the idler, a number for the secondary side of the idler, and a number for the final drive. So on this particular scooter, this is from a Vespa LX50, the primary factory, <coughs> uh, factory of primary gears are 14 teeth to 46, and the secondary is 13 to 49. So what you need to do is divide those numbers, divide the big number by the small number. So uh, 46 divided by 14, gives you 3.28. Now what that means and the reason that we do it is because you're working out the reduction or the number of rotations for one rotation of the other. So what 3.28 means 
that means that for every one rotation of this shaft here, which is connected to the second half of the primary, so for every one rotation of that gear, this shaft here is rotating 3.28 times. So that, that's the reduction, 3.28 of these versus one of those. So straight away, we've already uh, reduced it by um, 3.28 rotations. So then coming to the secondary, do exactly the same thing, but always the big number by the small number. So 49 divided by 13 is 3.76. So now we know we've got between these two here, 3.28 rotations of this shaft here is one rotation of the idler. And then uh, 3.76 rotations of the idler equals one rotation of the final drive. Now the way that you work out the final drive ratio from input shaft to output shaft is by multiplying these two numbers. So uh, 3.28 times 3.76 gives you 12.33. So doing that, we now know for every 12.33 rotations of the input shaft, the wheel is going to rotate one time and that's your final drive ratio. Now coming to gear up kits, we do actually have a Molossi primary set in stock in the shop, which fits uh, any Piaggio engine. Now this particular uh, example is a bit of a trick example because this primary kit lists for the SR50. So if you were to put this primary kit in the scooter, it will make it slower. Now that might sound ridiculous, but keeping in mind, it always compares back to what your factory gears are, which change depending on the wheel size of the scooter. So the factory primary is 14 to 46. This primary is 14 to 39. So the closer those two numbers are, the more, uh, the less reduction there is, sorry. So the factory gears are going to provide a faster overall top speed or less reduction compared to these primary gears because these primary gears are designed for a bike with a 13 inch wheel. So if you were to put this primary gear into this diff, you're gonna end up with a final drive ratio of 13.16 rotations of the input shaft to one rotation of the wheel versus 12.33 on the factory. Now putting that sort of trick example aside, uh, say this was a customer and this was their factory diff and they were asking for a recommendation on what gear up kit would be appropriate for their scooter. Straight away, jump on Molossi and work out what kits Molossi have available for that particular model. So the 10 inch wheel uh, Piaggio engine, uh, there's a couple different options available. Now keeping in mind that Molossi make multiple different levels of parts available for different types of setups. So say for instance, a totally stock scooter or say a stock uh, a scooter with a performance exhaust is not going to be able to handle as much gearing as say a scooter with uh, a race 70cc cylinder kit on it, which can handle a lot more load. So say this customer in particular had a uh, otherwise stock scooter or uh, say a 50cc stock, but with a performance exhaust, I'd probably recommend somewhere in the range of about 10 to 15, sort of really pushing it with a 15% difference. If you do have a more aggressive setup with say a 70 kit uh, or more of a racing oriented setup, you can go for a bit more than that. I usually wouldn't recommend more than uh, around the sort of 25 to 30% if you have a pretty aggressive setup. Now the reason for this is if you go too far, that reduction between these gears exists for a reason. And if you go too aggressive, the engine can't rev properly and the bike won't accelerate at all or take a very long time to get to its peak top speed. Though the top speed might be higher, it'll take a very long time to get there. It will negatively affect your acceleration. So to use specific examples, on this particular scooter, Molossi make a couple of different primary kits. They make a very aggressive 16 to 37 kit. Keeping in mind, the closer those two numbers are, the more aggressive the gearing is, or uh, the less the reduction is. They make a less aggressive primary gear, which is 15 to 38. So the stock is 14 to 46. So uh, 15 to 38 has moved both of those numbers closer to each other. So without going through all the calculation again, sort of pre-worked it out, if you were to install that 15 to 38 kit onto this particular transmission, you're going to, oh, this uh, particular diff, you're gonna end up with roughly a 30% decrease. So like I said, 30% decrease doesn't always mean 30% more top speed because it will uh, really affect your acceleration, which means that sometimes 
uh, say this were installed on a scooter with just a performance exhaust and otherwise stock, the bike might not actually be able to accelerate enough to even reach its top speed uh, due to the, um, the resistance in, in wind and also road resistance as well, because it's doing a lot of work. So on this particular scooter, uh, I would probably recommend the secondary setup, which is a 14 to 47 versus the factory 13 to 49. So that's gonna end up with about a 12% uh, decrease in reduction. So you would, you would be able to say pretty confidently you'll get roughly 12% more top speed because you've reduced the gearing by 12%, which would be really appropriate for a bike that was otherwise stock or a bike with a performance exhaust. Now, if you did have a bike with a 70 kit uh, or a more aggressive setup, you could probably go uh, for that closer to 30% number. Sometimes with a really aggressive setup like that, you may need to lighten your rollers or uh, install like a more race-orientated variator that's able to achieve uh, sort of some lower gearing off the very start. Uh, the Mossy Overrange transmission is a really good option for someone who's doing a race kit um, or for someone who's uh, installing a really aggressive final drive or diff gear. Uh, because that particular transmission gives you additional lower gearing on the variator, which can compensate for really aggressive diff gears. Thanks for watching, guys. Look, uh, hopefully there was some useful information in that. I know that one was a little bit maths intensive. Unfortunately, uh, gear kits and working out ratios and percentages of things can be a little bit maths intensive. But I'm going to put some more information down below in the description. So uh, it gives you a bit more of a concrete, on-paper way of working out the uh, diff ratios in your scooter. So you can apply all the same uh, techniques that we've used today to work out this particular diff to your scooter. Because those same concepts um, are, are in place in virtually every single uh, scooter diff. So um, hopefully that was helpful, guys. We really appreciate your support. And um, as always, any questions, please let us know in the comments. We endeavor, endeavor to answer every single question.